The Neuro Oncology Research Group is also part of the Brain Tumor Northwest Research Consortium and we're able to get patient biopsies from the Royal Preston Hospital and also the Walton Trust in Liverpool. And we can use these patient biopsies and the tissues to be able to look at cancer biomarkers and hopefully to make new drugs that can actually target these, these cancer biomarkers. I'm Claudia, I'm currently a PhD student here and I'm very excited to be working with In Between Ears. Uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, growing some cells needed for the blood-brain barrier model. One of the major problems of treating brain tumour patients is it's difficult to get drugs to permeate the blood-brain barrier. Our in between is sponsored PhD student Claudia will be looking to set up an in vitro blood-brain barrier model and this will involve getting human cells from the endothelium, the parasites and the astrocytes and growing them on a three-dimensional scaffold. We will then get patient samples from Royal Preston Hospital and the Walton Centre and these will be tumour cells that are grown into spheroids and placed on the other side of the blood-brain barrier. We can then use any novel drugs or look at any novel targets that we found on the brain cancer cells and screen to see if drugs pass through the blood-brain barrier model. We are fortunate to be funded by local charities, In Between Ears, BK's Heroes and the Sidney Driscoll Neuroscience Foundation. We've also been supported by the University who've invested heavily in state-of-the-art facilities such as the Cell Culture Laboratories, our in vitro hypoxic chamber, histology set up with uh, microtomes and cryostat, as well as extensive minus 80 storage facilities and fluorescent and confocal microscopy. Our hopes for the future are to gain a better understanding of how we can get drugs into the brain to target these brain tumours. The drugs are hopefully going to be able to cross the blood-brain barrier. We're also hoping that we're going to be inspiring the next generation of future scientists and that they would stay in brain tumour research to be able to improve the prognosis for brain tumour patients.